Hello from Bear River. Feast of famine. We're in the water famine. They dropped the flow 100 cubic feet per second in the last three hours this morning. Um, we have a kind of a treat here. This is merganser ducks. I don't know if you guys can see them dipping and doing all this. They swim underwater and they dive. They do all kinds of stuff. I think I've got them on here. Yeah, there they are. Okay, good. Yeah, they're really cool. They live down here. And this is our nice pool. A lot of people, a lot of animals, everybody's having fun. But back to here where we smells like dead fish. We got the brown goo. And this is uh, the probably 0.4 foot stage drop, but it takes out this whole area. This was that creek, all that. You can see maybe on the brown, that tree, the creek went, let's see if we're there, down to that tree. Real pretty, groundwater was up. I hope the fish got out of the pool because that's what we got going on. Now there's a big fish in this pool that's still connected, but God knows what will happen next. Hopefully, if and when NID gets its new license, and the, see this is where the creek ends now, all gone and it smells like dead fish. Now maybe you can see the fish running around here, and they would populate this whole area if uh, it was allowed. So, I don't know if you can see those big fish. They are good size. That's the end of the deal there now. And um, th this is double what the minimum flow um, is required in their license and even the next license, same. This, this is 150 and they can drop it down to 75 because money is more important than life on earth and people. <laughs> and recreational enjoyment. Although people are having fun anyway, but here's the pools. They're down to nothing and hopefully those tadpoles grew legs so they can hop out of these dead zones that it were created with the dewatering of vast landscapes with the permission of the state of California. Here we are, poor Bear River. But Come on, Henry. Hi. Hi. Everybody's having fun. So we're happy for that and grateful. I just look here and think, mm. see, you can see it's still a little wet because the water was so recently removed. Just cut off, big drop, but apparently not compared to but they're willing to tolerate. They're willing to tolerate more than twice the drop. And that shows how little protection our rivers have. And, and they make a big deal about regulatory. Well, it ain't doing the job, old regulatory. Not doing the job for the river. But we will endeavor to persevere. That's what we do. Adios from the dewatered Bear River. Oh, Matakweas, and I pray for you. Say a prayer for the bear. <laughs>